you so much for keeping it why in the morning. This is Y254. Thank you for being part of this conversation. It's all about mental health and, relationship, uh, and relationships uh, um, among the youth. How can you uh, ensure that you maintain your mental health? Mental stability is still an issue. They said in the recent past that depression is real. Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. At Ram Maguko at Y254 Channel, I am with Grace Karaoke. She is a marriage and family therapist today uh, to help us understand this. Are you a parent? Are you a youth? Are you a teenager? How is it that mental health is affecting you? Ensure that you engage with us. The hashtag is one in the morning. Head over to Facebook and Twitter and drop in your feedback or your comments and questions as we continue with this conversation. Grace, mm -hmm. um, before we went on that break, you said that you're giving an advice to that young person out of what you also went yeah. through. Don't resist. Don't be rebellious mm. about uh, you, your academics. Mm. They said you, they, they want you to do a particular course, do it. Mm. After that, you can have the ability to do yours. Yes. It's all about control. Mm. And I remember amongst the, 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 I call them four pillars. Yes, uh, yes, yes. The four pillars. Mm. One of them was control. control. Mm. How can a Kenyan youth have control over mm. themselves yes. and the decisions that they make? Yes. Because at the end of the day, there are some who end up making decisions to either prove a point mm -hmm. or because they're rebellious mm -hmm. or because mm. of peer pressure. Yes. How can a youth, yeah. you know, get that control yeah. over themselves. Absolutely. So now, <clears throat> again, I, I said, huh. when you are in the in the age of 18 to, uh, to 25, yeah. this is the time that you are defining yourself. Defining yourself away from family mm -hmm. and defining yourself within now the bigger community. As you develop. Yes, as you develop. Mm. So it is very important that you take, during the, that first year of being 20, 19, 20, especially the time when you are waiting to go into college, mm. take some time to do self-awareness. Understand yourself. What are my temperaments? How do I relate when I'm angry? What makes me angry? What triggers me? What are the messages I tell myself? And also know and understand what being an introvert is versus yeah. being an extrovert. Now, whether you are an introvert or an extrovert, it's neither right or wrong. It just is. Mm -hmm. And But I know our society, we are conditioned to think that the, the extrovert is more healthy mm -hmm. than, than the, the introvert. introvert. <laughs> but because they're silent, the yeah, introverts. Because, because mm -hmm. And, we, and we, we tell our kids, why do you keep to yourself? You don't like people. <laughs> you hate people. We don't want to do any of that. The, the whole thing of asking children or, or young adults or mm -hmm. teenagers that why are you so shy? What are you afraid of? We don't want to put people on that they, space. They, they even tell the boys, be a man. Yes, no, no, no. We don't want to do that. Mm. We need to be able to understand young people who are listening to me that you are both a mind and you're in your mind. That's where your thoughts are and that is where your emotions are. And then you have a spirit and th this is your inner life. This is your real, how you experience life and everything. Get in touch with that. And then you have your body. Your body is your behavior. That's how outwardly people can say you are mad, but outwardly people can say you are happy because of the way you are behaving. And so it's important to understand you can have control over how your life ends up if mm. you take time to get in touch with who you are. But don't ruminate on your negativity. Because mm -hmm. a lot of us, what we do is that uh, because of the way we are raised, we have been told how, how, how bad we are. So we, you know, this whole thing of ukikula chakula, yeah, good girl, mm -hmm. ukikata kukula, so what does Iboko. that mean? That you are a bad child. So mm -hmm. we, want, we want to change the way we think about ourselves, mm -hmm. that we are neither good or bad, but we either do well or we, don't. or we don't. So we can catch the behavior. We are not talking about me as a person that mm. I am a bad person. Mm. No, I want to say I'm a person of value. However, occasionally I do make mistakes. I love what you're saying. Yes. That it is, it is not, not, not that you are a good person or bad person. Yes. You accept that you just did something yes. uh, well or, or you, did it. you didn't do well. Yes. That also um, trickles down even to academics. Yes. When, someone f when a student fails in yes. the academics, it yes. doesn't make them a bad child. No, no, so no. Uh -uh. Don't say that. No, no, no. Don't, and, and don't call, don't label. Even if people are labeling you, stop taking the label. Let mm. me say it this way. We have a fear of failure. We have a fear of rejection. We have a fear of shame 
and we have a, a fear of punishment. So what happens is that if I fail, I label myself as a failure. a failure. I need to accept, yes, I failed the paper, but that does not mean that I'm a failure. In life. Or even, uh, even as a student, it mm -hmm. just means that I didn't get the grade I wanted. Mm. So I need to sit down and use that as a learning experience. Our negative e experiences that we have had in life, use them as learning experiences. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Survivors, the difference between survivors and victims are the people, the survivors are people who learn lessons mm. so that they don't repeat the same thing again. Victims are, well, yeah, everybody is against me, nobody cares about me, I am not a good person, therefore, ah, why even try? That will lead you to depression. Anxiety exactly. mm. also is the fear, anxiety is, is rooted in fear that I don't have control, that I won't be able to handle life. Let me tell you young people, mm. God created us with something that nobody can ever take away from what you. It's that? called resilience, bouncing wow. back. Wow. Look at the rubber band. Mm. We need to be like a rubber band. Well, you can be when, able to when you are stretched and the stress goes away, you will come back to what? to the normal space where you are supposed to be. But that does not happen automatically. Mm -hmm. You've got to understand that your brain is elastic. Mm -hmm. You need to learn that you can instruct what your brain is going to do. So yesterday, there was, uh, there was uh, something bad that happened to you. Your brain carries that mm. information in the subconscious. And once you are waking up in the morning, you are afraid that what happened yesterday is going what to happen today. today. And that, at that point, you need to bring your mind to, to the current and say, yes, it happened yesterday. It was a horrible day yesterday. But today, we mm. are going to do something different mm -hmm. because we are going to learn from that experience. And by that, you are getting control yes, over yourself. Yes, over yourself. What is happening is that we go on autopilot and, uh, and, and then we pack. We don't, this is what I, uh, when I, when I have young people that I'm doing therapy with, they tell me, I don't like to remember that. And I say, if you want to heal, you need to remember. But I am going to train you how to remember in a therapeutic way, in a helpful way, in a cathartic way, where you are cleansing the wounds so that the wounds can heal properly and you can continue on with your life. So it's possible for someone to pick themselves yes. up, control how they react yes. to, sit, to the environment yes. and move forward. Yes, it is very possible. How, how, how can a young person handle PTSD? Okay, now... When we talk about PTSD, and for those who do not know, it's post-trauma stress disorder. disorder. PTSD is rooted in an experience that made you feel like your life, you are going to lose your life. So you felt terror. Mm. And that information of PTSD, because PTSD is not normal stress. That is absolutely really bad stress. Things like fire, fire in the house, you are afraid you are going to die, yeah. uh, car accidents, uh, rape victims. Mm. Uh, we are talking about domestic violence where yeah. somebody is beaten up until they are, they are, you know, child abuse where children are beaten up so badly mm. uh, and other things like that. Or you witness you yeah. know, a traumatic experience. What happens? Your subconscious stores that information as trauma. And, and so I, when I, you are triggered, uh -huh. you re-experience it. It feels like you are feeling it again. And the triggers could be in form of even sound. Anything. anything. Sound, smell, something you see. It can be anything. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the thing. With PTSD, you cannot be able to heal that without professional help. So if there is a young person who is suffering, and, and again, PTSD is usually uh, uh, the, the, the symptoms of anxiety. Mm. You are very hypervigilant, you, you are jumpy, you can't sleep at night, mm. you are afraid to be alone, and it's it, panic attacks, you feel you, you are experiencing panic attacks a lot. Please reach out for help. You cannot heal PTSD without professional help. There is a way for us to be able to walk with you so that your subconscious brain can release. Mm. What we do is uh, when you, get, you go through a traumatic experience, that information, your brain goes like, poof, it closes it in. And then there is a trigger that happens to you and your brain begins to open again. You re-experience the pain, it closes again. So mm. for us to help you, release this trauma so that it becomes a memory 
then you need to come and we slowly help you to open it. Mm -hmm. And in a safe environment, we talk through it and we support you as you re-experience it and we bring you out to the point where you are able to release that information. Mm -hmm. You are no longer afraid of that information mm -hmm. because it's something that happened in the past. But, but the fact that it is a memory doesn't make it a bad thing. No, no. Once it becomes a memory, it's no, you no longer re-experience the wow, trauma. Wow, because wow. now we have allowed your, your real, because your, your subconscious brain, its job is to protect you from pain. Mm -hmm. The pain that you experienced before. Mm -hmm. it, now, one of the things that we do so that uh, I can also put this in perspective mm -hmm. is one of the things you can do, if you have some things that you remember and you feel bad about and you close down, yeah. what you want to do is to remind yourself it happened three years ago, it's mm -hmm. not happening now i mean as different space don't be afraid to go for a for an interview because you went to a, to an interview last year and, and how kuchukuliwa this is different you have grown yeah. and and you are in a different space this is a You're different better. company mm -hmm. the, but go back and look what did i do wrong that i can <laughs> change for for well, the no. next one uh, grace yeah a time is not on our side I want us to, to, to wrap this conversation up in yes. a nutshell. Yes. Um, w w w with this, for this person who is watching you from home, yes. that Kenyan youth is watching you, mm. or, and, and, and he's listening, or she is listening, or you're talking about mental health and relationships mm. among the youth, mm. what should be like that their take home, something that they should always remind themselves mm. each and every day, yeah. something that will always keep them in track. Right. When they find themselves losing the way, yes. they think about it, it brings them back. Right, right. Number one, you are a person of worth. You are a person of worth. Your worth does not come from what you do, how, who accepts you or not. Uh -huh. Your worth comes from whoever created you. You are uh -huh. created as, as a worthy person. So for you to be successful, you work from that space. You are working from a space of this is who I am. If there is anything I want young people to understand is that you need to get in touch with yourself and find that worth within you. Wow. Yeah. You are worthy. Yes. You are worthy. You are worth it. Thank you, Grace. You are welcome. It's, it's, it's a pleasure. That, that is a very moving. I felt like you were having a uh, a TED talk. <laughs> 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 I was with the Grace Karaoke, ladies and gentlemen. She is a marriage and a family therapist joining me this morning in talking about mental health and uh, relationships among the youth. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've, uh, uh, you know, you've able, been able to take something within yourselves and move forward so that you can know that you are worth it. You have a worth, you have something that is of value within yourself. So pick yourself up, you can move forward. Mm, Grace, yes. it's a pleasure. Uh, thank you for finding time to join me this morning. And uh, asade sana. Karibu, karibu. Let's take that short break. We'll be back in a bit. This is Y254. Keep it Y in the morning. For those who just, uh, 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 you know, joined us, ensure that you're, uh, you, you go to our Facebook platform, the hashtag is Y in the morning. Drop in your comments and your feedback as you continue with this conversation. My name is Ram Maguko. Keep it Y254. <laughs> Why two five four?